what an absolutely brilliant reception here today for John O'Dowd. All the kids from the school out on this beautiful sunny day, blue skies, and that uh, is an omen for the great work that's going to take place here today uh, and in the years ahead. There's going to be £12 million into this new development, put into this new development here. A sport land down the front, you can see the, the waste land here behind me. And then behind the school, there's going to be a new block for the school itself. The gates aren't going to be locked up at uh, 4 o'clock every day. They're going to be open to the community. Uh, it's a great boost for, for this school and the students in this school, for the surrounding community for the people of West Belfast, the people of Belfast in general and those who are involved in promoting the Irish language. It's a marvellous uh, first class uh, project that's going to take place here and it's going to be developed over the next couple of years. Uh, it's, 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 it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm delighted to be here the, today at College of First Year uh, cutting the saw on a £12 million investment for the school, a major new facility for the school. This morning I was in Ben Monaghan uh, opening a new facility there, £3 million spent on Ben Monaghan. The Irish medium sector has seen a significant investment over this last year. Despite uh, the British government's cuts to the education block grant, we've continued to invest in those priority areas that require investment. New facilities such as this give confidence to the Irish medium sector, gives confidence to the children in the schools and to the teachers uh, about the future of the Irish medium sector. I, I firmly believe that the Irish medium sector has a, a bright future. The numbers are increasing year on year. These new facilities will be a clear signal uh, to the broader community that the Irish medium sector is here to stay and not only is government investing in the sector but they, they have the opportunity to invest their children's education in the sector as well.